I usually film birds, and most of them live a herky-jerky life, taking dozens of snapshots of the world around them every minute. This red lionfish, though, glides through life, with the water supporting all his fluttery appendages. He comes off, okay, just a tad like a gaudy carnival performer, but mostly like a ballerina, wearing a busy, some might even call it fussy, costume. His job belongs in an M.C. Escher drawing. Indeed, he is a lined creature with maroon to brown stripes on a light background everywhere except his tail and anal rays. There, his black and white stripes are broken up to create a polka dot effect. That crisp back end adds pop to all the softer colors in front. Well, dang, why does something this gorgeous have to be a bad thing? Well, it's not a bad thing in its native habitat, the South Pacific and Indian Oceans, because there it has natural predators. But it does damage here. It has long been a favored ornamental fish for home aquariums, and that's likely to be how it found its way to the reefs of the Atlantic Ocean, where it is, unfortunately, all too prolific. Females can release two million eggs a year, it's a voracious hunter using all those fluttering tentacles to corner smaller fish against the reefs. It successfully avoids predators both by using the venomous spines on top of its back and by camouflaging itself with all those wavy stripes that blend into the reefs. Since it has no natural predators in this hemisphere, individuals can live upwards of 30 years edging out native predators like grouper and snapper. Environmental groups have begun trapping these beauties on reefs and selling them as a sustainable seafood source to restaurants, which advertise it on the menu as malicious but delicious. <laughs> <laughs>